Hi everybody, today we'd like to take a look back at 2018. What's new at Bast Ing? Well, for one thing, we've brought out a Valfast without a dog point screw. That makes it about one kilo lighter and noticeably more compact. We've also attached a smart holder for the impact wrench, so you can hang it in there really easily. The set is really well balanced when you walk from tree to tree. Also, the logging tape controller has been reworked really well. Putting in the logging tape and triggering it are very quick and easy now. And I think it'll be a standard felling method in the future. It's possible for the first time now, within just a few seconds, to walk a short distance away from the tree and trigger the felling safely. Well, I could go on all day, but let's hear what our customers have to say. We've used the wedge for around 18 months now. We use it to fell an average of 15 to 18,000 cubic meters each year. Before that, we used to fell them with a hydraulic wedge. The impact wrench is really cool. It lightens the workload amazingly. The person doing the wedging doesn't need a lot of strength. And secondly, the performance has increased enormously. Here, I'm looking at a performance increase of between 15 and 20 percent during felling alone. I also personally feel that in terms of job safety, the stumps look better now. In the old days, just working with axe and wedge, you sawed away the whole time, and if it got tough, you sawed off a little bit more. Now that we've got the wedge and the impact wrench, a bit more wood can be left over and it still works just the same. The huge advantage of the Basting wedge is again that you can reposition it with back and forth rotation. And you can't do that with hydraulic wedges. And that's a huge advantage if the tree definitely won't fall. I can vary things with the impact wrench. For instance, I can kind of juggle with a different wedge, so to speak. In the old days, you had to make far too much of an effort when you had a back-leaning tree or something like that. And with the wedge, you don't get that anymore. In terms of work safety, it's a real revolution. We manage the property of the Princes of Castel and Castel Rudenhausen, with a total of about 4,700 hectares on seven hunting grounds. Our annual logging is around 20,000 cubic meters. And we bought the Valfast before the last felling season because we also cut a lot of strong bad wood, especially beech and oak and the safety aspect was of special interest to us here. And we've had it in operation for one season now. The fellows were a bit skeptical at first, but now it's a regular part of the equipment. We take it along, and it's no longer just a tool for special trees, it's our number one felling tool. Safety is very important to us, which is why around nine months ago we were still using the logging tape control for the very difficult cases, so you can leave the six meter danger area. Control using the tape is a very simple and pragmatic solution. It's always quick, there's no extra weight, and the handling's very easy too. I've been doing motor manual felling for over 30 years now. I get through an annual average of between three and 4,000 cubic meters motor manually. I've had the Valfast for around a year now. I do have to say that I'm very critical when it comes to new tools. And I'm not an easy person to convince. Especially with this kind of stuff. Impact wrenches in the forest and all that. It was completely new at first and didn't really fit in with what we were used to. But after two hard days of testing, I wasn't just satisfied, I was delighted because it takes an incredible amount of strain out of it, especially when you're felling in front of the harvester when you've been doing it all day. The harvester drivers have all been happy about my investment because you simply bring down more mass. The only downside is that since I've had the wedge, I've put on about five kilos. I don't know if this is the right place to mention that, but anyway, that's what's happened.